All right, so uh, I just wanted to make a, a real quick video on my latest project. Uh, so first of all, um, this right here is the creek right behind my house. Um, I own land, um, you know, right up over this hill right over here, probably about 40 yards away. Uh, it just rained, so you can see the creek is real muddy and nasty looking. It's a little bit higher than usual. It, it does have a pretty good flow. Um, right here, there is a V in the creek. And you can see the water right here is magically crystal clear. And that would be because uh, we have a spring box right here. Uh, it's all sealed up. And like I said, it just rained, but the water, again, is absolutely crystal clear, which is really nice. And I'm going to go over here real quick and... Uh, this right here is my inlet for a ram pump, which I'm going to show you here in a minute. Um, the inlet is uh, very clogged right now. You can hear the air sucking in there. Um, I'm just going to clean that up real quick, the filter that I've got on there. Got lots of leaves and junk on it. Cover that back up. And we will walk down to the standpipe I've got for it. Uh, so right here you can see it's a good little glimpse of uh, the supply line. That black line is actually a supply line that feeds into my standpipe. Uh, so this right here is the standpipe that I've got. Um, this is kind of a temporary setup. Right now my standpipe is about two feet tall. And uh, hopefully I can get in here and shine the camera down the water is about halfway through right now usually it's a little bit higher I just cleaned the filter so it might rise up a little bit more um, but this would be the drive pipe it is a little bit higher I just kind of waited a minute okay that's much higher Uh, so you can see I've got about 35 pounds on the pressure gauge right there. I'm going to open this valve right here, and that'll uh, decrease by quite a bit. But it will keep running. And uh, this is getting, you know a very temporary setup right now. Uh, I've got a lot of modification to do for the intake and for the drive pipe right here. This is a very temporary. Nothing's really you know set in stone yet or anything. Uh, this is just kind of a test to see what I can do. But I've got this delivery pipe going all the way up here, all the way through the yard. And it actually goes up here. And it's coming out of that tree right there. It doesn't look like a whole lot of water, but I, that is about you know 10 or 15 feet up in the air. And it is steadily flowing out of there. And that is no electricity ram pump. Um, the goal is to be is to add a little bit more of a supply line and get uh, a little bit more head on the standpipe. Uh, I plan on making a, an updated video on everything when it's all done. Um, and I plan on you know going uh, down the creek more past the bridge, possibly behind that shed over there. And I'm going to be feeding the garden and the horse's troughs with the ram pump. That's kind of what, you know, the, the main goal is, I guess. But you could see out of that, you know, that pipe up there how clear that water is. That's because it's coming right out of the spring. And uh, how nasty and muddy this water is here, you know, out of the creek. Which I think is technically from a spring, you know, up at the mountain, but it's it's creek water, you know. So. But that's just a quick little video on my setup. Now, on my ram pump, um, I am required to use the standpipe like I was showing you earlier because of how flat my creek is. I don't really have a whole lot of elevation. But basically, the standpipe where it's set up 
it brings the supply of water down to your ramp pump, or at least close to it. And so water fills up in that pipe like I was showing you, and it that level in the standpipe is the same level as my source up in the spring box up there. So it really just kind of, it, it brings the supply down, you know, close to your ramp pump. So uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll have an update here pretty soon on the final, the final product.